Hi everyone, it's March 14th, 2024. Uh, my name is Chad Peters. I'm president and CEO of Ridgeline Minerals. And today we just announced that we believe we have identified a new porphyry target at our Selena CRD project. Uh, so we're gonna get digging into that a little bit more. It's a pretty technical press release. So I really wanted to summarize that today um, for you. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, quick disclaimer, there may be forward looking statements here. I encourage you to do your own due diligence. Uh, so what I really want to highlight from this survey, this is a uh, inclined long section across our project, which shows our 3D mag inversion all the way from Butte Valley Porphyry all the way to um, our chinchilla oxide uh, uh, discovery. Now, what I really want to highlight, what's really exciting about this press release is the fact that you can see the Butte Valley Porphyry, obviously a very strong magnetic high. This is a well-known copper porphyry, copper tungsten porphyry that is currently being explored by Freeport MacMoran under a $33 million joint, joint venture with Falcon Butte Minerals. Uh, but what gets us really excited is there is another mag high of similar intensity that sits about three and a half, four kilometers away from Butte Valley. And it's just off the edge of our chinchilla oxide discovery. Uh, so you can see here, we have what appears to be the clustering of porphyries, both outside and on our project itself. You are getting known CRD mineralization at our chinchilla oxide discovery. We've drilled up to 61 meters of 175 gram silver equivalent, much higher grade narrower intercept, six meters of 1100 gram silver equivalent previously at chinchilla oxide. This is a very high grade CRD system, but where's the source? We had always felt that it was 100% from the Butte Valley porphyry. But what we're now seeing suggests that you're actually probably seeing multiple overprinting systems, the clustering of potential porphyries over a kilometer scale. And what you're getting is CRD systems sandwiched between those porphyries. And that would represent our chinchilla oxide and our chinchilla sulfide targets. Now our chinchilla sulfide is still very much our, our highest priority target. The system is transitioning to sulfide at the bottom of hole 37, which was drilled just to the north along that structural corridor uh, in 2022. And we hit up to three meters of 600 gram silver uh, equivalent, and that was transitioning to semi-massive sulfides at the bottom of the hole, which is a very good sign. We need to drill deeper. We need to get into the depths of the chinchilla sulfide target, as well as test the SCARN anomaly that sits right off the edge of that. This could be a very high grade and a large system that has, uh, I think is, is hopefully waiting to be cracked open by us. So um, something that I really want to point out as well, when you isolate the Selena porphyry data here, we're going to look at a cross section looking the other direction, looking to the northeast. And what that really shows is when we actually remove the Butte Valley porphyry, which is such a strong magnetic response that it kind of overprints the rest of the data in the district. It's so strong. When you remove that, it allows us to highlight other, um, other anomalies and other aspects of the model. And what that did for us is it really showed that Selena porphyry anomaly, it goes to depth, right? It has roots to it. It's going down over well over a thousand meters and still a very strong anomaly. And we know that at chinchilla oxide, you have all of these cross-cutting Jurassic Age uh, QFP dikes that are emanating out of, we think, out of that porphyry a kilometer away. And what you're seeing within those dikes and sills is high-grade copper and tungsten over narrow intercepts. We think we need to get back closer to that porphyry. And there's great potential to go in, hopefully make a much higher grade copper and tungsten discovery within the porphyry itself. And we believe there's snippets of off the edge of that. In some of these holes, we've drilled up to a meter and a half, a two and a half percent tungsten, 0.5% copper and 600 gram silver in hole 39A. And then beneath that, the deepest hole we've ever drilled beneath Chinchilla, we drilled 0.1 meters of 3,300 3, grams per ton silver, a little over a percent lead, percent copper, and three and a half percent tungsten. So there is obviously um, a porphyry aspect to this system. Um, and we think that it's coming from that porphyry anomaly right there. So just another really exciting development for the project. It continues to show scale, it continues to show grade. Um, and we're excited what 2024 is going to bring for this, uh, this project. So um, thank you for your time. I encourage you to reach out, set up a Zoom call with me. I'd love to walk you through this in more detail. Uh, Ridgeline trades on the TSX under RDG and the OTCQB under RDGMF. Uh, thank you for your time.